apparently Steve Bannon and Marjorie Green are no longer Biffy and Buffy. They're no longer friends. And it's because of the fact that now Bannon sees Marjorie Green as more of a moderate which is one of the most insane things anyone could possibly think. But he has lost control of her, lost control of how she votes, and he's very upset about it. Now look, this all started when the apparently Daily Beast had leaked text messages between Matt Gates and Marjorie Green. And in them, Marjorie Green had some, some stuff to say about Steve Bannon. She said specifically, Steve and I aren't patching things up and if he keeps coming after me, I'll take the house and kids. I hope you'll pass this along to Steve because I'm over it. Now there's more explosive texts, but before we get to those texts, let's find out why they're fighting in the first place. So Steve Bannon led the charge in this conflict, calling Green to be primaried by a more right wing candidate who is real MAGA. Because of the fact that she voted in favor of the debt ceiling bill, Bannon did not want her to do that, but she did anyway. He made the comment in response to a Politico article that detailed how she and Jim Jordan helped Kevin McCarthy get his debt deal through. Now, real quick, as we all know, the debt deal had everything Republicans wanted. So why wouldn't Marjorie Green vote in favor of it? And she is trying to suck up a little bit to Kevin McCarthy. That's been an ongoing trend that we've noticed as well. Um, now, Green's debt ceiling vote and her previous support for Kevin McCarthy's leadership role within the House didn't sit well with Bannon, who wants the party to go further to the right. And in another Gitter post, uh, he wrote this. The 149 must be held accountable for the most anti-MAGA vote in history, okay? So with that said, uh, he wasn't done. He wanted to keep going. So after the Daily Beast had leaked Marjorie Green's text to Gates, he actually upped the ante during his War Room podcast. Let's watch. Republican Party, those 149 who voted for it, who all have to be primary. Let me repeat that, all of them, including people we're quite fond of and some who we used to be fond of, have to be primary. You know why? They have to stand on a debate stage when the primary season and they have to justify what they did with the knowledge they had of at the time of what went on and then what the impact is. Because the impact during primary season is gonna be a lot worse than it is today. So Jenk, thoughts on this growing conflict between Green and Bannon? Yeah, so I can definitely break it down. So number one, why is Steve Bannon so angry when the Republicans got most of what they wanted. Did he want, okay, instead of getting $20 billion cut from IRS auditing the rich, let's get $80 billion, the whole thing cut so the rich are protected forever. It's like, did he just want more? And he thought it was just on it because he thinks like, and this would be a fair thing to say. Um, Biden is such a Republican, all you had to do was ask. If you were even tougher, he probably would have given you more, or right? he would have given you the whole enchilada, okay? Yeah, maybe a little bit of that, but I don't think that's the main thing. I think that he, you don't get this angry over it should have been 30 instead of 20 billion, right? right. Um, no, he wanted them to actually crash the economy. Because then his, the main guy he's supporting, Donald Trump, would have said the economy crashed under Biden. Like you know how Republicans are 10,000 times better at messaging than Democrats. The Democrats would have been like, oh my God, I if, they, if they actually didn't lift the debt ceiling and the market crashed and the interest rates went higher, etc., as, as every economist predicts, Biden would have panicked and be like, it's my fault. I love the Republicans, I'm so sorry, right? And and he would have gotten blamed for it because he's the president. And Bannon is not wrong about that political calculation. Now, in order for you to advocate for that calculation though, you have to be a monster and think, oh yeah, that's gonna cost millions of Americans jobs. It's gonna destroy so many businesses, so many lives. But monsters like Bannon and Trump, they don't care about that at all. And would it have been a significant political advantage for them? Probably. And isn't Bannon this big believer in this traditionalist philosophy where like he almost wants chaos in order to yeah. implement it? Yeah, yeah, so look, we talked about this before. Bannon believes in this Russian philosopher, the one that the Ukrainians probably almost killed, but the, her daughter, his daughter blew up in the car bomb instead. Yeah, Alexander okay. Dugan, right? Yes, and so the Duganists believe in going back to the middle medieval ages. Literally. Yeah, like in terms of like how we live, they wanna go backwards. That's progressives wanna go forwards. These conservatives are so ultra conservative, they wanna go backwards. So what does that mean? Religion, Christian nationalism, 
so screw science and vaccines and doctors and, and, and the tech companies and everything that's involved with going forward, they hate it. And if you go forward, it's about equality because now wait, it's not predominantly just white people in the country anymore. It's a mixed bag and they don't want that. They want white people to be in charge, etc. So for them, chaos is not such a bad thing. You're breaking things and when you rebuild them, you could rebuild them in the way that you want, which is authoritarian. And Dugan doesn't hide that at all. Putin is a huge advocate, Steve Bannon is a huge advocate. And so they're like, burn it to the goddamn ground and then we rebuild it as basically a dictatorship for just us. Yeah, exactly. That's why, I mean, as you were talking about what the motivations are here, I couldn't help but think about how much Bannon would rejoice in burning it all down, right? So I don't know. I don't know if that's motivating the ire he's directing toward Marjorie Greene, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he loves the chaos. Now, immediately after he said what he said during his podcast, other right wingers fell in line and started saying that they would absolutely love to. By the way, I have no problem with primaries. Primary the hell out of anyone, right? Yes. Like there's nothing there's nothing wrong with primaries. But a bunch of people on the right decided to back Bannon's calls to essentially primary the Republicans who voted in favor of the debt ceiling bill. Stu Peters, who's the host of the Stu Peters show says, I 100% support a challenge to Marjorie Greene and look forward to meeting and helping a serious challenge to her. Far right activist and former Florida congressional candidate Laura Loomer also chimed in saying, she took a job from me when she publicly accused me of being crazy. You're not crazy at all, Loomer. You're totally stable, not unhinged, okay? D don't worry. But she continues to say, <laughs> and told Trump not to hire me. I think it's only fair that I get a shot at taking her job too. You know what Donald Trump always says, an eye for an eye. And so uh, we do have some more of the text messages between Marjorie Green and Matt Gates. Uh, any comment before I get to them? Yeah, so look, don't get us wrong. Laura Loomer's totally nuts. Absolutely. And she might be even more nuts than Marjorie Taylor Green, but go ahead, have a nuts off, right? <laughs> God. I, when uh, Republicans are going eye for an eye and leaving themselves all blind, I'm all for it. But I've got to also tell you why Marjorie Taylor Green's on the other side. So why do the Republicans mainly vote against Steve Bannon and his wishes? It's because they have giant donor money now, they're all in office. And so when they have the donor money, they wanna keep that money flowing. So they know that if they'd actually crashed the market and the economy, the donors would have been furious. And so that's the dynamic in that in the Republican Party. Neither side is good, they're both horrible in their own way. Now we do have more of the text message exchanges between Marjorie Green and Matt Gates. We're gonna read the Texts from Marjorie Green. She could tell that you can tell that she's bothered by Bannon and what he's saying. She writes, I have almost the same identical voting record as Thomas Massey, the most fiscally conservative member of Congress. And I voted with him on this bill. And Bannon, who was senior counsel to Trump in the White House and responsible for the first debt ceiling increase because Bannon is reckless and nowhere near fiscally responsible, is now telling everyone I should be primaried. Then she writes, Steve, meaning Steve Bannon, Loomer, and any other POS attacking me will not beat me. Because of that, people have been reaching out to me because they don't like what Steve is doing to me. I'm at a place in my life where removing toxic and bad people out of my life makes me very happy. Steve and I aren't getting back together. Well, how are you gonna remove yourself from your life? That's the problem, <laughs> okay, so good luck with that one. Look, you, by the way, you get a sense of how Marjorie Taylor Greene probably conducted the, her divorce proceedings. With that, oh, you push me any further, and I'm taking the kids and the house. Uh, yeah, that was it. That gives you a sense of who she is. Okay. Yeah, but to be fair, yeah. that's common in divorce proceedings. Yeah, which is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right. Uh, on Bannon, uh, but to be fair to Marjorie Taylor Greene, she does make a good point. He Bannon was the chief advisor to Donald Trump when they raised the debt ceiling, and they didn't hesitate. They didn't wait for a second. Mm -hmm. They didn't ask for any cuts. They didn't do anything. They were just like, oh, let's lift it right away, right away. And they did it three times. Bannon was, I think, around for only the first one. Uh, but not a peep, why? Because he didn't want the economy to burn while Trump was president. He didn't want to harm daddy. Yeah, he. but he does want to harm the country mm -hmm. if it's a Democratic president. So that is crystal clear. See, look, we're fair, we don't like either one of them, right? But I'll tell you when someone makes a good point and the other one makes, and Marjorie Taylor Greene there, to, has an undeniable point. Steve Bannon, should you be primaried on your own show? Should we get a new host in there who's more pure? Because apparently you're a piece of crap sellout to the establishment and to the donors. 
and to the, and probably to the globalists. Why did you raise the debt ceiling? Why did you do it? You had a perfect opportunity to destroy everything in the world, but yet you didn't do it. Well, I, now look, according to your logic, it would have been great. Flowers would have bloomed everywhere if you didn't raise the debt ceiling. So he has to answer that question, but my guess is not many people will hold him accountable. But one last thing about the good thing about an internal civil war among the Republicans is that they actually fight dirty. So among the Democrats, there's no civil war at all. There's no fighting. There's no <laughs> fighting. The corrupt win time after time after time, progressives almost never challenge them, right? Among the Republicans, they eye gouge, they rip their, each other's hair out. And so when they get dirty, they're gonna shiv each other, okay? And they're, they're gonna knife each other really hard. And that's, a, that's pleasant to watch. And use some Taylor Swift lyrics to make their point, as Marjorie Greene did. Ooh, okay. You know, when she says, uh, Steve and I, Aren't getting back together. Interesting. All yeah. right. I think I think those are Taylor Swift lyrics, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I like it sounds like could be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.